What is up, players? Welcome back to the program. My name is MJ. I'm Tupac's interview in 1993. Like, I'm doing all types of versatile stuff because I'm trying to find what it is that you guys like enjoy, like enjoy watching. And also, again, I'm just glad that you guys aren't requesting. I'm glad to be seeing other requests other than just music and like um, copyrighted stuff. I'm happy to be able to laugh in this time. So, thank you guys for that. If you're ready for this reaction, give your girl a thumbs up and let's press play. I love me some Tupac, so I wonder what he's going to be talking about. Uh, my next guest is not only climbing up the pop. Is there a I said Arsenio Hall. Hit album, but he's also taking the box office by storm with his role as Lucky opposite Janet Jackson in a new movie called Poetic Justice. Poetic Justice. Poetic Justice. Mm -hmm. You all probably remember him from Juice, but let me Juice. show you a clip of his latest work. Look at the way she said that. Why she? Lucky. 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 Ooh, Lucky the Mailman. I've never seen this movie. I don't know, am I just not old enough? That's possible too. I don't know. I've never seen it. I've, I know that what you call he sang about it. Uh, what's his name? Poetic Justice. Who's his name? Kendrick. Just cut the bullshit, okay? And if you really, really want from me, you want to smell my ponani? Yeah. He said, yeah. Well, what I am. Okay. What I found out recently was how young he was when he died. I don't know why I thought this man was like 30 or something. Or 30 something. Him and Biggie. See, I get a feeling there are two Tupacs. Uh, I mean, you're this kind, sensitive, friendly guy. Smelling God. <laughs> Rudnani smelling God. I can't. So much controversy. We'll get to all of it. How's Janet as an actress? How does she do? She's great. I think she's going to surprise a lot of people by just being natural. You know, being real, like, home oh, girlish. You know, everybody's expecting her to be rich and act rich. But she handles that. She does that. Yeah, you know you got to roll every man in America once. All right. <laughs> Rudnani smelling roll everywhere I go. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. Yeah. I can't. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I like that ring is wearing. Who nani? My mother gotta go see that movie, man. Yeah, um, I know you ain't spelling. <laughs> <laughs> Did you get to kiss her? Oh yes. Oh, said, oh yes. Yes. Oh, yes. 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 <laughs> That's so funny. I was like, God, do it again. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, that's so funny. He's so cute. Right there. He's right there. Did that intimidate you? Not intimidating, but he made me like really want to kiss him. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Only got one shot. You know what I'm saying? You know, you're going to try to get one kiss as soon as it's cut anyway. So let me do mine. So I know he came to me. I was kissing like I wanted something from him. You know what I'm saying? I was at home practicing with 30 wives of bubblegum. <laughs> <laughs> He's too real, man. <laughs> I, I, was, I was watching TV this weekend, and there's this whole controversy about the AIDS test. What yeah. happened? Okay. Somebody came to my trip, the director of the film, John. You need to take the AIDS test because you're going to kiss Janet. Q-tip just kissed her, she caught a cold or something. You know what I'm saying? That's what they said. I was like, well, am I going to, you know, do it to me? They said, no. I said, well, ain't no need for me to take a test. He left. The producer came in. You know, the white guy, are you going to do it? Uh, no. And then so he left. Somebody else came in. So, everybody's trying to look around about my manager, my agent. So far, I was like, no, I'm not taking the test. If I'm going to get to really lay with her, we can take four tests. If she really want to be shown, you know, <laughs> But other than that, it's disrespectful to me, it, 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 you know what I'm saying? It just made me look at her like, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, plus I heard she said I was lying. Her people said I was lying about the test. I don't lie. I'm real. Too real. So she need to check that. Check her people and check herself. Ooh. Yeah. Um, I was in the monologue uh, last week talking about um, this article that was in the paper where the guy killed an officer 
and then said it was because of your oh my god dang camera died so i hope i can watch the entire video lyrics i guess the actual tape was in the car or something kind of bad man. yeah it's so much like stuff man he couldn't think of nothing else oh, yeah. But don't act like music is not that influential, though. When you read that, what did you say? I said, I mean, I got beat up by the police before. So to me, I felt like, whatever he got to do to stay out of the death penalty or whatever, let him do it. I understand where you're coming from. Yeah, but you know what the judge said? Mama said, lock you up. Wrap that. But the whole bad part is they was bothering me now. The vice president on TV talking about taking my record off the shelves. Police, you know, every time they see me, they think I'm a cop killer. I know what I do. Just because somebody just put my name in it, so there's really no way, you know, to get around it except to keep struggling. You know, there's people that struggle harder than me and go through things harder than me, so it's a small thing. Hmm. You had a suit against a police department for brutality, right? Open police department. They beat me up pretty bad. For nothing. For jaywalking. But it's cool. For jaywalking? I got revenge in their ass now. What, what was the revenge? You know, I went, I, they beat me up in that city, took me to jail. I was back within two months doing a major motion picture with Janet Jackson. And they had to protect me. We was hiring them. Ah! So, you know, and I was on the set. Police telling me, where you going? I'm telling them, I'm not coming out of my trailer to this cop. is off the lot. I'm not coming out of my that's trailer. And that's period. They're until he leave. And they got to make the cop go. The movie can't go on. So I got revenge, then I left, skied up, and I'm just talking about the police. You know? <laughs> he was such a rascal. He really was. When, when we were talking at the top of the show, first of all, you did a little rap, and uh, it contained the word nine. Now, uh, on the street, that's nine millimeters. All right. Uh, we'll get some letters. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and I'm wondering, are you concerned that possibly it'll affect box office or record sales because you're too close to the edge, you're too hard? It's like this. <laughs> the masses, the hungry people, they outweigh the rich. So as long as I appeal to the hungry and the poverty-stricken people, it's all good. I'm oh, okay. He said he has the formula. The fool and the poor people. Everybody knows crime out there. Everybody knows what type of situation we're in. In the streets, all I'm doing is showing you and telling you. You know what I'm saying? Why get mad at the brother that bring you the news? Get mad at the person that's making it happen. Feel me? It's like, yeah. you know. Um, you know, there's a, there's a weird game that goes on because now, as a result of your art, you're becoming one of the rich. Yes. Interesting. Not rich, but they're giving me checks more often. Mm. <laughs> keep it real. Keep it real, Pac. To keep a brother broke, you know what I'm saying? Like, like you say, I got like seven lawsuits against me. Wow! Like, but I still got to pay the lawyers. Still got to pay everybody to go to court. Still got to pay for a bodyguard. Cause now they say I gotta have one. You know, I still got to pay. You know, it's just more bills. They give me more checks, but they also give me more bills. Yeah. People stealing my car, you know, all that type. Of stealing my radio. I just got my little radio stuff. I had to get another one. But it's cool. I'm fine. Who got my radio? Trust me. <laughs> He's so goofy. I got a low jack on it. <laughs> no, not a low jack. What is a low jack? I'm just. Hey, it's not me, man. <laughs> also, we're talking about this movement in the music business back to marijuana. Uh, everybody from Dr. Dre, whose album is called The Chronic, to Black Crows. Uh, let me play devil's advocate. Is this irresponsible considering we have kids who enjoy the music? Let's hear it. Well, it's like this. It's like, like this. Parents have to do their job. The rappers. We can only we can only do things rappers. Like Charles Barkley said, you know, he play ball. Y'all be parents. But it's like that. It's like we rapping about how we feel. We really do smoke weed. You know, yeah. we really do see that as a way for us to calm this, this, these riots that we hear in our head. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, so our job is to talk to the youth. And we're talking to the youth and tell them, man, we got it bad. Hmm. We're sitting there smoking this weed trying to get through it. You know what I'm saying? It's telling them, stop killing each other, man. Let's just smoke a blunt. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> let's smoke a blunt. Yeah. If you stress, let's smoke a blunt. You know what I'm saying? Anti-violence, pro-blunt. Pro-blunt. <laughs> now, what will you tell your first son? Um, like my mama told me, if you want to get high, get high with me. You know what I'm Ooh. saying? And my mama been. I sat and got high with my mom. I'm mama. sorry, sir. Oh, oh, black head. Black head. I sat and got high with mm -hmm. my mom. And could go out in the streets and tell my friends, that ain't weed. <laughs> I'll smoke some angel dust or something, that ain't weed. 
Because my mom told me what weed was. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I could help my friends. So they wouldn't be messing with me. He's serious. He said help his friends. I can't. Camera about to die again. I'm done. But it's just that young people don't drink coffee. I'm glad so, Coke is out. Coke. Well, I mean, you can tell this is an old video because we definitely drink coffee now. We're not talking about doing no Coke. No, we not only not talking about doing Coke, but if anybody do Coke, they ostracizing this business. Can marijuana lead to something hard? No. Okay. I don't, don't know. It's a gateway drug. Tupac. Oh my god, so that was like literally the end anyway. Arsenio Hall is actually a pretty good uh, interview person. I think he gets the words, he gets the words, I mean the questions out, but it doesn't make you feel uncomfortable about what he's asking, so that's pretty cool. Anyway, if you guys enjoy videos like this and you want me to do more, give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to comment below other videos that you'd like for me to react to. If you're not a part of our family, definitely subscribe with the dopest alive. We're having lots of fun on the playground. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you manana. Bye. <laughs>